So this is a way to make a number wheel for numbers uh, on a board. And what you do is you pick a center spot and use a string and a marker. And I have the center of the circle marked. And I back up as far as I can this way. And then I use the marker and just go around. And it makes a perfect circle. Just with that. Now what we do is we pick any place right near the top here. And that's going to be our zero, the top of the circle. And going through that center, we find the bottom, the very bottom. So it's the diameter of the circle. And it's halfway down. And that's five. And then we can pick an uh, eight to five ratio for how long the section between the numbers are. So I marked out here. And I'm just going to mark one, two. I'm not, that's going to be one and two. And this is going to be nine and eight. And then from the five, we'll pick five, four, and three. We're pretty close there. And then we've got six and seven. Now, it doesn't have to be accurate if there's a difference in where you have, we'll mark the numbers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is back to zero. Again. So it just goes around like that. Now, we're going to make our boxes here. So our boxes are the numbers close to zero and close to five. That's one and nine. We draw a line from one to nine and from four to six. Six to four. And then down from six to nine and from one to four. So we've made a box. Now those numbers are what I call the tall box. And the top and bottom of the box, one and nine, add up to 10. And the bottom of the box, four and six, add up to 10. The sides add up to five. One and four add up to five. And nine and six add up to 15. We're just dealing with ones digits. So that works fine. Now, if we do the wide box, the number's away from zero and five. And there's zero and five in these four. That's six of the 10 numbers. Therefore, there's only four numbers left. The numbers away from zero and five are two and eight. We'll draw that. And three and seven. We connect those, two and three, and seven and eight. And again, two and eight add up to 10. The top of the box and the bottom of the box is three and seven. All the parallel horizontal lines add up to 10. And the sides this time are two and three. Again, add up to five this way. And eight and seven add up to five that way. And our zero and five are anchored for this whole thing. Going diameter of the circle, going through the center, adds up to five. Zero and five add up to five. So going up and down adds up to five. Going across, all the lines going across add up to 10. And our diagonals, let's look at our diagonals. Let's do zero and five, of course, our uh, radius, our diameter, and one and six are. So if we draw that, then one and six is halfway across. One and five and six, six plus five more is 11, plus five more is 16, plus five more is 21. That goes up and down. And two and seven are diagonal. Two, seven, add five is 12, add five is 17, add five is 22. Three and eight. Again, going through the middle, because these are all diameters. Three and eight, 13, 18, 23, 28, and so forth. Four and nine. Again, through the middle. Four add five is nine, halfway around the circle. Add five more is 14, and five is 19. That's 
the basis of number of circles and the boxes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.